Acast announces layoffs, the latest from our daily newsletter at podnews.net. Podcast hosting and monetization company Acast is to lay off around 70 people. That's 15% of its staff. Emily Villat, Acast CFO, suggested that the company can increase their internal efficiency significantly without compromising on the quality of their delivery. Well, we wondered why they would do this, so we spoke to an investor who told us that financial markets are increasingly preferring profitability over growth. And while Acast has spare cash, it's currently making a loss with profit margins of minus 31%. That's leading to a very low valuation in comparison to other audio businesses. So these layoffs should speed up their path to profitability, which will also reduce any risk of running out of cash in a recession. The Open Podcast Prefix project has been quietly launched by John Spurlock. It's a prefix analytics service committed to open data and listener privacy and places listener data in the open. It could power trending and popularity data or give independently verified stats to advertisers. Now, Pod News has always published our podcast consumption data, so we're supporting this service at launch. You'll see our data is already in the API. The service has also been added to the Oporg Podcast Prefixes list List, and you'll see it highlighted where it's used in our podcast directory. What happens if you make a show and put it live without any marketing at all? Danny Brown tells Pod News that following a story about white noise being popular, he launched a white noise podcast in June, put zero promotional marketing behind it, and it's already had a thousand downloads and 400 unique listeners. It's not a huge amount, he says, but it does show that maybe a new show in a popular niche can still get results with zero marketing. A new premium audio storytelling house is to launch in Australia. Richard Baker from Southern Ocean Media has been interviewed by Tim Burrows in a podcast we link to today from our show notes and our newsletter at podnews.net. Audis's Chief Digital Officer J.D. Crowley spoke about the future of audio and whether subscription podcasts were part of it at an Audacy-sponsored variety event. We link to the video. Sirius XM has signed an exclusive agreement with the Lewis Howes podcast The School of Greatness. Amazon's AMP, a live radio Radio app has unveiled a creator fund. The product is available in the US only and only on iOS, though it launched a limited web experience recently. Headliner now supports YouTube videos from your podcast up to four hours long. The company is also integrated with Podomatic. Mind, Body, Spirit is a new podcast network designed to provide help, hope and mindfulness in this time of uncertainty. Spotify has signed a deal with Wattpad to bring Indonesian and Filipino web novel authors to podcasting. Target Spot has launched a new division, Target Play, selling ads in games. The company has signed a representation partnership with Gadsme. And in France, podcast hosting company Ausha has a new visual identity and a refreshed website with brighter images and a new slogan, Boost Your Podcast Game. Let's play with stats and data for a minute. There are 5.3 million podcasts in Spotify, but Adam Bowie, in a blog post we link to today from our show notes and our newsletter at podnews.net, compares that number to shows on TV or even music tracks and asks whether that number is actually very helpful at all. Well, you might have heard that most books sell fewer than 12 copies. That might not be true, but in the comments to an article that debunks that number, which we link to today, we learn that two-thirds of books sold fewer than a thousand copies in the last year. And by way of comparison, Buzzsprout currently suggests that most podcast episodes see fewer than 29 downloads in the first 30 days. In People News, Steve Pratt is to join the advisory board for LWC Studios, a production studio in Washington, D.C. A founder of Pacific Content, Pratt is now the founder of the creativity business. And in podcast news, Raised by Ricky looks back on and re-examines the groundbreaking Ricky Lake show. It's hosted by Ricky Lake and television personality and digital creator Kaylin Allen. It's from Lemonada Media and we thank them for their support this month. The Diary of a CEO with Stephen Bartlett is now apparently bringing in 10 million monthly downloads. And if you're one of those people asking, where are all the big hits on Anchor? Well, that is one of them. 
America's Dead is new from Sonos and Emmett Malloy, exploring how the Grateful Dead changed music, culture and consciousness forever. And The Guardian's Women's Football Weekly returns for a new season after the England football team's success this summer. Host Faye Carruthers, Guardian football writer Suzanne Rack and special guests from the world of women's football will be keeping up to date with every game to provide listeners with a roundup, expert analysis and opinion throughout the Women's Super League season. And that's the latest from our newsletter. To read all the stories and subscribe, we're at podnews.net. 